What is good, Grey Gang? We're out here today with Tanner. Now, you may see this as a familiar face, and it's because he's actually been in these videos right here. Just in case you're wondering, you, he seems familiar, familiar, that's why. But what we're going to be doing in today's video is kind of like a day in the life video, okay? It's going to be like we're going to come out, film a video, but then I'm also going to show you guys how I edit the video and make the thumbnail. And then after that, we're even going to do a podcast, and then after that, we're probably going to do something else. So now that you know that, we're going to go ahead and do the actual part of the video, and it is fishing right here. So he's over here bass... Well, he's fishing for whatever a bite, but most likely it's going to be bad. Then we got these two over here doing the same thing. He's actually already caught one, but it's about six inches, so we won't talk about that. And as for me, since we are in the river and I know there's a bunch of catfish here, I think I'm going to turn on one of my sausage hot dogs right here. They're a little OP, but you know what? I do what I have to do. And then this right here if they don't work out in a minute. So I'm actually going to hop on the GoPro, and then we'll, I'll take it from there, I guess. And as for the rig I'm using, it's pretty simple. It's just a... Uh, just a hook with a weight on it but i'm planning on throwing this into some areas where it's like uh not super fast so hopefully my bait doesn't actually flow down if you've seen these if you remember the sausage hot dogs you'll remember that i caught probably my pb bass on one which doesn't exactly make much sense but if i can repeat that today i probably won't be too upset you know and then i don't know where you think i should throw for the a catfish i'm looking for still water so i got that hole and then i got the hole directly behind the dam we'll see what here we go We'll throw it out there and just let it float down a little bit. Today should be a pretty fun day because a lot of you guys don't exactly get to see what goes on, you know, after the video, at least for YouTubers. But I think today I'm definitely going to show you guys what it's like to go on, edit the video, make the thumbnail, what it's like going through ideas if one doesn't work out or something like that. So this will be a pretty cool video. I think you guys will like it. And if not, I don't know, we quit watching the video, I guess. I don't know, unsubscribe or something. All right, boys, can you imagine? It ain't working. I am going to go ahead and switch to this, though. Throw it over here in some of these uh, uh still spots over here and see if maybe a bass or something like that'll eat it. I don't know about the catfish. They're acting kind of weird here lately, which I've also just had it tossed in for like 20 minutes, but still, it's too long. Yeah, and here's the game plan. I'll tell you my game plan. You can do whatever you want to, but I'm thinking that the fish are going to be, we'll walk on out here and I'll show you. My expectations are that the fish are going to be somewhere where they can get a lot of food, but not have to work hard for it. So, like, I'm thinking if I was a fish, I'd sit right there where the water's not moving super fast and wait, sit right there and wait for bugs and minnows to come by through this water that is moving fast or over there. So, just like where I think the fish are, that's just where I'm going to cast and see if there's one sitting there waiting on it. Then I'll throw some over there in the current and just reel it down as if I am a minnow stuck. And then whenever I just get wherever the current takes me, maybe there'll be a bass waiting on me there. That's the game plan. I can't promise it'll work. All right, guys, we've moved on to plan B. The fish really wasn't biting. How predictable. Oh, man. <laughs> but we got a plan B, and it's a pretty good plan B. We brought a ton of guns, and that's not in all of them at all. We have this entire bed full. But I think one of the main things I'm going to be shooting is I'm going to take a look at this AR-9, because I'm kind of interested in an AR-9 myself. Then we have this AR, but it's not just an AR. As a suppressor. Then we have the AK and another suppressed AR, but it's a 22. And then we also have a conversion kit for an AR that turns it into 22. I've never really played with one of those ever, and I think I may actually just try it just to see how it works. Because if that works, I don't know. I might get one, maybe. Anyways, I think first thing I'll do is I'll take a few shots with that. They are nine. Is it sided in? Yes, it is. Okay. It is sided in. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like it. Next, we want to try out the AR. Comment down below if I should get a suppressor. Because if you guys really want me to get a suppressor, I think they'd be nice to go out and hunt with. Because, you know, you won't blow out your eardrums every time you shoot something. But, oh, safety. Also, while you're down there, comment if you can tell difference on the camera that it's quieter. You've never shot an AK before? No, I haven't. You want to right now? Sure. All right, there it is. All I got to do is rack it back, and you're ready to go. All the way down. There you go. Okay. Now it's ready to go. It's a little bit to get used to, is it? Yeah, it's different for sure than an AR. Here you go. I'll shoot it some. Okay. There's the, the difference, difference in the bullets themselves. You can see this one's, this one's a bigger bullet and got more powder. What gun's next? I don't know what you think. Shoot that fast. Huh? Shoot it fast. Okay. Hey, 
<laughs> it's pretty fast. Let's try out that conversion kit. Okay. How easy does it go in? Just like literally just slide in? Yeah. Oh, that's really simple. Yeah, it's not hard. Do you have to have a special mag for it? Yes. Yeah. I got it. Okay. How many does that mag hold? 25. All right, here we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, it works pretty good. It's fun. I'll load up so, one. does it, it uses the buffer spring? Okay. No. No, it no. doesn't. Oh, it don't? Would that work with a binary trigger? Mm, maybe. Do you have a binary trigger? Yes. I can, I'll take it out. There you go. Good catch, good catch. Oh, okay. So, Internally, it's yeah, everything. So it's not direct blowback either. No, it's spring. That's cool. So that's probably why. That's the that's the that's where the, the bullet will be inside of that. That's inside the chamber. Oh, okay. That's cool. All right, guys. Now since this is a day in the life video, and I'm actually going to show you guys how I edit them, I'm actually going to head on inside, and we're going to go ahead and get to editing. It's going to be pretty fun. All right, guys. So now we're actually back, and we're going to edit some. I'll be editing on here. They'll be seeing it up on the TV, so that they can ask questions if they have any of those. Anyways, first thing, this is what my editing uh, setup looks like. It's kind of just this is called Final Cut Pro. Drag them right on down into this. So now it's already set it up to, for me. To where this right here is the first clip. Here's the GoPro clips that we had in between. And then here's the ending clip where we just got done shooting gun. First thing I actually do is I like to separate the audio from the video. Because whenever I'm editing, most of the time I just look at the audio. Just by looking at it, I can already tell you I started talking like right here. What is good, Greg Gang? Where are you? And it does right there. I can come over here, pull in this right on top of the timeline. And then I can actually scrunch it up to be smaller, that way it's not taking up too much space. Boom, right on into the GoPro. Now that's for the rig I'm using, it's pretty simple, it's just So you try to have no, like, no talk, like when you're not talking, you don't want that in there? You really wanna focus on telling the story. So if the story is like you shooting a gun, you won't be talking, but there'll still be action. Mm -hmm. So you'll actually want that to put in there. But if it's just like a bird flies over and you're looking at it, that's <laughs> not really gonna add to the story at all. So yeah, you can cut that part out. All right, guys, we just got done filming the podcast. What'd y'all think? It was pretty fun. It was pretty it was good. Fun. It was an hour and 16 minutes, so it was yeah. pretty long. Yeah. Yo, here's the thing, though. In the podcast, we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked quite a bit about how to, like, tips on YouTube. So it almost goes directly in line with this video. I'll put an end card at the end of this video so you can go check it out. But also, want to give a big shout out to my man, Maggard Taxidermy. This is Randy. This is Randy. We took him to the taxidermy. The taxidermist. 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 Tax, 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 something like that. In this video. A few months later, this thing's ready. Check it out. We, we've not found a real good place to hang it up. Maybe over here. Not really sure yet, but. And I was saying this in the podcast. There's a chance that that could have been the same fox that jumped out of the trap like five years ago. It's a small chance, but there is a chance. What is my day like? Went out fishing, try, hunt, shooting guns a little bit, tried to make a video, came back, we edited a little bit, then we done a podcast. What else would I do? Hmm, what, what do I usually do at the end of the day? It is the evening, guys, and I know this is a little bit different than what you guys are usually used to on my main channel. But for those of you who do not know, I actually have a gaming channel, too, called KG Gaming. What I do on there is just play some games, usually hunting-related, so that's what we're going to do right now. The game we are playing is Hunter Call of the Wild, probably one of the best hunting games there is, and most realistic. Right now, we're on Silver Ridge Peaks, which is a Rocky Mountain map. It's got elk, it's got cougars, it's got mule deer, pronghorn, black bear, turkeys, all kinds of stuff. First, before we do anything, let's come in here and get our set, set up ready. I know what you're asking. And Kennel Dude, what kind of guns you picking? Well, hold up, Jebediah. Let me show you. No doubt about it. There's some big animals out here. I'm taking the 300 Win Mag, and then this I just had left over from last time, so I'm actually going to take it out. Don't need a shotgun, but what I do want is this 303 Sporter. That's going to come in handy. And then I'm also going to bring out my bow right here, the Razorback. All right, guys, so we're going to head on down this hill. I believe, from what I remember... There should be some elk, probably right over here. This is usually where they just stay and hang around. I will pull up on binos, just, you know, scan the area a little bit. Now, I did pack two calls as well. I have a deer call, which should work for the big mule deer, and I also have an elk call. Oh, did y'all hear that? Okay, we have a big horn sheep right in here, and he's blowing a mating call. We're going to move in nice and slow. As you can see down there in the bottom right corner, our wind cone is blowing this way, so uh, we should be in good shape. Now, while we are walking up this big horn sheep, if you guys watch my gaming channel, big shout out to you guys for watching both my channels. And if you don't watch the gaming channel, if you like this gameplay, you may want to go check it out. 
All right, for you guys wondering what happened to that big horn sheep, I don't really know, but he's not here anymore. But I did just hear a big elk bugle from down the hill. So I'm gonna go ahead and crouch, be getting a little bit closer. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my elk call. I'm gonna try to get up to that big pine tree. That way I have some cover. Then just think and let it rip one time. The objective is to call it in close and then kill it with my bow. That's the plan anyways. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. We always got the 300 wind mag in my back pocket if things don't go the way I want them to. You picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. Good. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Yep, that's him right there, son. He's attentive. He's alert. Dang it! He saw me! Let's just go ahead and let one rip one time. We'll, we'll, we'll play with consequences. He should be running into us any moment. He's about to walk right up on top of us. I'm telling you, he is. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he run away? And there's a goat. Where's the elk at? You know what, boys? We gotta do what we gotta do. Pull out the 300. We're about to make something fall. Hey, boys, we gotta get meat on the table. How? Oh my goodness. That's probably the worst aim I've ever seen in my entire life. That's, again, probably the worst aim I've ever saw in my entire life. All right, boys, something's got to give right here. I just missed two shots that should have been automatic. I'm not happy with my performance at all. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting on the map, and I'm fast traveling to the other side. That behavior is intolerable, okay? That's unacceptable. If I can't make the shots, I don't need to be hunting, okay? Training needs to take place on the range before you go hunting. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Unacceptable. I need to get my head in the game. Oh yeah, for y'all that don't play this game, there's also bison on this game, which is really cool. They're pretty big targets, and to be honest, they're kind of hard to miss. Making them perfect for a person like me. Hold up, what is that? What is that? What is that? Calm down. See, get down, get down. Hurry, get you infield. Get you infield. Actually, get you dough bleat, son. Let's just get over here in a bush where he can't see us, and we'll call him in. We may be able to take him with a bow. Perfect, perfect. Just stay here and don't move. He should be running at us right now. Now, like I was saying a second ago, I got two options for this bad boy. I got my stinking 600 grain tracer arrow, or I have this little infield right here. Infield sporter eyes. I'm gonna start creeping in. I think I'm just gonna take him with a rifle, dude. I've already, I've already missed two solid opportunities. I can't afford to let one more go by. Dude, where did that mule deer go? He literally just evaded me. Dude, he literally just disappeared. Oh, there's a bunch of pronghorn. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. All right, I'm taking him as soon as I can get a good shot. Hold up, hold up. Hold, hold your breath, son. Hold your breath. All right, that should have been a neck shot at the least. All right, he should be somewhere right around here. Or at least... Oh, there he is. He's stinking dead. He's stinking dead. Dude, you stinking ask for it. You stinking ask for it. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that sap suck. Mmm. Saw a little vertebrate... Vertebrate, uh, lung, thoracic, throat, heart shot. Okay. Okay, one time. There he was. He's a silver. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty good for what this little scraggly looking thing is. Anyways, we'll accept that. Saw a little 800 bucks cash money. I want to go for a bison. Now, if I can get close enough to a bison, I'd love to use the bow. But just like I was saying, there's some big animals on this map. If I can't use the bow, I'm a sinking use the 300 wind mag. I packed it for a reason and I want to see it shine. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear that turkey gobble? I'm not gonna hunt him because I don't have any turkey gear, but yeah, y'all heard him gobble. He's way over there. Oh, there we got something. Pronghorns. There's a bear. There's a bear. Forget the bison, dude. We're stinking going after the black bear. How far is he right now? Right now, he's about, he's about 250. He's about 250. Something light, nothing heavy. He's quartering to me, which is a hard shot because their frontal shoulders or whatever is pretty tough. But I mean, hey, I didn't pack the biggest gun in the game for no reason. I think we just let it rip, don't you? Oh, he's looking directly at me right now. That's a terrible shot, but guess what? I'm gonna take it anyways, okay? I think as long as I can go up through the top of the neck, I can take it. Ready? And... All right, that was, that, was, that was a long shot, but... Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, you're talking about instant death one time. That dude's thinking drop. Old son didn't stand a chance. Now that I think about it, where did I even hit that thing? He didn't go 20. He didn't go 5. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see where we hit you. Pretty solid, pretty solid bear. I mean, if you ask me, how big is he? That's a pretty solid black bear for a weird looking frontal shot right there. Somehow got a double lung, which I mean, I'll accept. 
What is that? What is that? Who made that? What made that noise? Stinking pronghorn trying to play tricks on me and stuff. Hey, show yourself one time. I'll put the I'll put the lead to you. I ain't kidding. I'll do it. If you like the gaming videos, I'll tell you what you can do. Click right over here if you want to subscribe to my gaming channel or right over here for another video where we got up close and personal with the bison with the bow. That's pretty epic, guys. You may want to go check that out. And without further ado, guys, thanks for watching this little day in the life video. I know it was a little bit different, but maybe some of you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Hopefully.